Now I'm going to show you how to take a photograph from color to black and white. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the adjustments panel over here on the right hand side. If it is not available, if you don't see it, go up to window and go down to adjustments. Mine is open, it's got a little check mark by it, but if yours is not, just click on it and open it. Now over here, there's these are all the different adjustments we can do in Photoshop. The one that we want is right here in the middle uh, of the three rows, and it's uh, one, two, three over. It's the little half uh, black and half white rectangle. So when we click on that, it turns our image to black and white. And if you look here in our layers panel, you'll see we now have an adjustment layer for this black and white uh, adjustment. If we turn the eyeball on and off, we can see it in color or we can see it in black and white. This looks pretty good. I had good contrast to begin with, but let's just look at some of the features that we can play with within uh, this black and white panel. I can affect my reds by moving the red slider. I can affect my yellows by moving the yellow slider. So I can go in here and fine tune this. And you know what? It doesn't hurt to say, I don't know what this does, and try it. Go in and move these sliders and see what happens. You can make it look really, really horrible or really, really awesome. Now, if you get to this point and you've messed it up or you feel like you've messed it up and you don't want to use these settings, you don't have to throw out the layer. You can come here to the bottom of the panel and this little circle here, it says reset to adjustment defaults. Just click on that to reset it. So you can play, you can reset it, you're not hurting anything. The other cool thing is the targeted adjustment tool. It's this little hand up here with an arrow on either side. If I click on that and make it active, wherever I click on the image, it will let me adjust those tones. So right now I'm adjusting the reds. And if I come down here to his bicycle, I'm adjusting the blues. Let's see what color this uh, backdrop was. That's back to the reds again. The ground are yellows. So we can really kind of get in here, and you'll see that his skin was affected by the reds and the yellows. And let's see what this guy's doing back here. Well, that's looking pretty good. So from a color to a black and white image, it's that simple.